Hello and welcome to Let's Play Delta Force. Now, this is the original game that started Nova Logic's Delta Force series of games. And um, it was a very successful series up until when um, uh, Nova Logic decided to stop making games. Uh, we're just going to jump right in. It's a first person shooter. Um, very old one at that. We'll be playing on hard. And uh, unlike Fighters Anthology, no cutscenes, no lengthy manuals, just the mission briefing. So we'll start with the Peru campaign with Operation Insurrection. Mission briefing. Mission, eliminate the mercenary detachment located at Objective Breeze. Execution, you will proceed southwest from your insertion point to a position overlooking op Objective Breeze. Eliminate all perimeter patrols and proceed into the camp and neutralize all enemy forces there. This mission will only be successful if all enemy personnel at the objective are neutralized. Expected enemy forces. Analysis of the satellite imagery provided by the CIA shows the enemy is operating from an abandoned ranch just south of the Colombian border. Joint Staff Intelligence, J2, believes that between 10 and 20 mercenaries are currently stationed at this base. Satellite imagery gives no indication of heavy weapons, however, small arms fire is expected to be intense once the attack has been initiated. Allied Support. Alpha Team will be inserted approximately 130 meters southeast of your position and will support your left flank. Charlie Team will be inserted about 240 meters west of your position. They are tasked with neutralizing the watch station on the ridge north of the ranch and will then proceed to the objective to cover your right flank. Situation. After several years of successful governmental programs to curtail coca production, the most powerful drug lord in Peru has hired a large mercenary army to fend off Peruvian drug enforcement officials, help guard drug shipments bound for the United States, and intimidate growers farming coca leaves. In response to Peru's request for assistance with this severe threat to its internal stability, the United States has pledged to assign its most elite forces to help defeat the drug lord and his army. The drug lord is using his mercenary army to threat Peruvian law enforcement and to intimidate the local civilian population. Disruption of this force will be a major blow to the drug lord's ability to conduct his business in Peru. Satellite imagery provided by the Central Intelligence Agency clearly shows one of the mercenary bases operating in Peru. This base, approximately 100 kilometers south of the Colombian border, appears to be a major staging area for the mercenaries. The Joint Force Special Operations Component Commander, JFSOCC, has deemed this a priority target. We have five primary weapons to choose from, as you can see. It's not a huge selection. We'll stick with the M4. Secondary weapon, which really should be labeled accessories, there's four. Well, not even. No. Double ammo load, satchel, claymore, slaws. Yeah, so there's four. We'll stick with double ammo for now. Side army of a choice between a suppressed 22 or a 44. Sorry, a 45. So obviously we'll take the 45. And with that, we'll jump into the mission. Alpha to Bravo. In position. Waiting for your signal. Charlie, in position. We'll move on your signal. King 6 to all elements, you are cleared to move in on the objective. As a note, this game is so old, I'm actually using arrow keys to, uh... to move around here. And not, uh, WASD like it is in, you know, every other modern game. there. A little closer comfort. Uh, also, our magazines. We can see how much ammo we have in our magazine and we can see how much, how many spare magazines we have. We do not have a magic ammo pool that tops off our magazines. Once we toss a mag, it's gone forever, including all rounds of ammo that were left in it. Wow. Uh, so... Normally the AI, the friendly AI at least, is really bad. And uh, they're actually kind of surviving in this mission. So generally, I assume, like when they give you other teams, I generally assume they're local forces, you know, whoever we're working with this, in this case, the Peruvian drug officials. But, um... This is King 6. Bravo, search the base. Alpha and Charlie teams provide overwatch. These guys are actually acting like actual Delta operatives. I'm still going to assume they're Peruvian anti-drug authorities. 
because they might all die yet. <laughs> but and cons but generally, the friendly AI is only good for uh, meat shields. There's uh, no need to risk our lives here. So we'll just clear out the buildings. Oh. Walk around this. There's gotta be at least one guy left. Ooh, cash stash. No one would mind if we took that for ourselves, right? Little hazard pay. Uh, these games are realistic in the sense that uh, it's pretty much one shot and you're dead. Oh, fuck, fuck. Okay, we got him. How'd the grenade not kill him? So, that mission actually went pretty well. So we're going to head to the extraction point. One thing I don't like about the Novologic games is once it's mission accomplished, you can just hit spacebar and be done. You don't have to go back to base. You don't have to go to the extraction point. Uh, Delta Force Blackhawk down kind of did away with it to some degree, but everything else is generally once once the mission is accomplished, you just instantly teleport out of there. Yeah, try climbing that up in a modern game. <laughs> uh, so that's it. So we'll... We are now at our extraction point, so I guess we're just going to take this truck and run out. But, um, mission accomplished. Mission debriefing. Mission statistics. Number of kills, 10. Congratulations on your successful mission, Bravo Team. The elimination of that base will send a message to the mercenaries and their drug lord boss that they must cease their operations or be eliminated. Documents found within the destroyed base point to the location of one of the drug lord's supply caches and also suggest the location of an airfield being used by the mercenaries as a transshipment point for weapons and other supplies. So, we see that's unlocked the two more operations, Operation Flood and Operation Weatherman. And uh, I think that'll be it for this episode. So uh, stay tuned for next time. We'll talk more about um, either Novologic's history or the history of Delta Force. And um, we'll do one of these two operations. And we'll see you then.